Hello, my beautiful Aries. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerson.com, here to bring your mid month forecast for love for uh, November 15th to the 30th. So guys, check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. And remember, this is for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. So if I accidentally say partner, I mean love interest, okay? Also, if you'd like a personal reading, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. All right, let's jump right in. What's going on my Aries romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? What's going on my Aries romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? What's going on my Aries romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? What's going on my Aries romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. What's going on my Aries romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? What's going on my Aries romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? Let's go on my Aries Romantic Love Life from 15th to 30th. Let's go on my Aries Romantic Love Life from 15th to 30th. Okay, that feels good. What's going on with my Aries Romantic Love Life from 15th to 30th? 15th to 30th. Okay, that feels good. All right, let's jump right in. And also, I'm going to be giving advice from the Romance Angels as well, as well as financial career advice at the end. Okay. Queen of Swords. So someone here is telling it like it is. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy because they want some type of reconciliation. Six of Cups or something to do with the past or a secret admirer here with Six of Cups energy. And the Lily shows that they feel very passionate about this or there is some patient energy here. Okay. With the Lily's card. All right. What was the blockage? What's the blockage here? Page of Wands. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. There is an exploratory energy. Someone wants some either message of passion or they want to explore some new things here pertaining to passion. And uh, someone hasn't taken charge of this to be victorious or is something surrounding travel that could be blocking things with the chariot card pertaining to a fresh start and a new opportunity. So since we're looking at the current here and we see that someone's trying to tell it like it is because they want to have some kind of reconciliation. If you're not dealing with someone from your past, it's a secret admirer that's been there for a while with the Lily's card. And the blockage is that someone hasn't explored this or there's some exploratory energy here or something surrounding an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy that hasn't taken charge of this for a fresh start and a new opportunity, which is blocking things. What is going on in the foundation of the matter? Ten of Pentacles energy. There's something surrounding family and long-term commitment here that could be affecting things. And there is a waiting around to see how things are going to play out here with the Seven of Pentacles energy. And this is making uh, the situation where someone's not sure. They're not sure. They're, they're indecisive about their decision making because we have the cross card, uh, the crossroads card. So there, see, there seems to be someone feeling like, okay, I invest a lot of time in this. Okay. There could be some issues around family here, a long-term commitment that's on the table. And there is a person here that's indecisive about, okay, do I really want this? Okay. With the two of, well, the cross cards card is like a decision. All right. So what happened in the past? Four of cups. There could be, there could have been some boredom here with the four of cups energy. There could have been things that were offered that wasn't accepted. It could have been more than one person. And um, there's an energy here from the past of, all right, I feel defeated. I don't know if I want to stand up and fight or walk away from this. And you were trying to gain some kind of knowledge or the person that you were dealing with was trying to gain some kind of knowledge surrounding this. There weren't, there was a, something yet to be known about it. It's like the high priestess energy when you see the book. All right, uh, what is going on at the head of the matter? Wow. Twin flame soulmate connection with the lover's card, where you could be done with the Gemini because lovers represents Gemini. So there's a choice that has to be made towards love. And it does look like uh, someone here does want to move into calmer waters with the six of swords energy. But there's a burden and a challenge, or this could be because there's a spiritual connection here, okay, with the cross card. Crosses do represent spiritual connection. Since I'm seeing the Six of Swords and I'm seeing the Twin Flame Soulmate connection, I feel that this is more of a spiritual connection. This is more of a, about a Twin Flame Soulmate connection. Um, but somebody wants to make a choice towards love and they want some healing here with the Six of Swords energy. They're ready to move into calmer waters. They know it's going to be challenging, but they want to move ahead here. 
with you. So what ha what's going to go on in the immediate future? Wow, Queen of Pentacles energy. Wow, and look at this card. There is a woman here with a baby in her hand. So Queen of Pentacles in general are a very nurturing, motherly kind of energy. And you see that here in the outcome here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And um, it is a patient energy. It's a very nurturing energy. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Or there's a contemplation here about... What do you want to do on the long-term basis here with the Queen of Pentacles energy? Do you want to be with this person on long-term or not? It's kind of the Queen of Cups, right? It's a patient energy. It's a contemplative energy. And why is that? Because you want to be sure about your options, your choices. You want to be confident there with the Seven of Cups energy. And why is that? Because you want love here with the Heart card. You want love and compassion. And obviously, it's a lot of nurturing energy here. Okay, so you could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Okay, or it could be around to you just trying to figure out, or what do I want on this long-term basis here, all right? What do I want to do with this situation? All right, so what's going on in the foundation? I mean, in the subconscious. There's a confused energy here with the moon card. And when I look at this card, I see that this woman is trying not to get bit by this uh, crab. So it's like you're, you're, you're feeling like something's hidden there and you want to be aware of all the different things that could be hurtful here in the situation with the moon card. So you're subconsciously you're doing some deep, heavy soul searching here. Okay, you're really contemplating things, you're researching things here with the hermit card. Again, this is a Virgo energy. And uh, you're just trying to be intelligent with the fox card and you're hoping that something isn't deceptive or sneaky here with the fox card energy. So this is all the things that are going on in the subconscious mind here pertaining to the situation. So what is the influence here? The influence is Nine of Cups. Now, either you or the other person wants to fulfill their wishes, Nine of Cups energy. And this person's like, you know, wow, I got all these cups here. I got everything that I want. It's pretty much about getting everything that you want here and feeling like you have the higher ground to defend your position. Feeling like, okay, I can defend this. I, I can fulfill these wishes that I have, and I can defend this position pertaining to a person that you may be dealing with, or the person that you're dealing with may feel that way, that they want to fulfill their wishes, and they have the higher ground in doing this. I mean, obviously, there is some type of twin flame soulmate connection going on here, and it's a spiritual connection. It's almost written in stars here pertaining to you and this person. All right, so see what the hopes and fears are. So... There's a person here that wants things to move quickly, okay? There's a hope that somebody wants them to move quickly, and um, they either that or they want some kind of messages here. They want some fast-moving energy, and they want someone to put the work in here, and they want to be successful here with the key card. Okay, so let's see what the outcome is going to be here. Hmm. So this person is sitting here and they're kind of a bit defensive about what they want to do pertaining to love here. They're, they're, there's a defensive energy. And why is that? Because of regret about the past. There's crying over spilled milk here. Because there is a person here that wants improvement. They want change. Hmm. So in the outcome, there's a lot of regret about the past and a defensive energy with the Nine of Wands energy. So let's break this down a little bit more here. Okay. Okay, so it does move into calmer waters though. Okay, even though even though there is a defensive energy here with this nine of wands, the fool card is there. Okay, the fool card is there, which shows me that someone does want to take a risk and they want to move into calmer waters with you. Six of swords energy. Even though they know what's challenging, they do want to heal this, just like at the head of the matter here. And why is that? Because of a twin flame soulmate connection, because there's a spiritual connection between you and this person, Aries. So let me get some advice for you, Aries, pertaining to your romantic love life. All right. Can I have some? And remember, you have free will. You don't have to take this advice if you don't want to. Can I have some advice for my Aries romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? Can I have some advice for my Aries romantic love life for November 15th to the 30th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So they really want you to take some time out to think about things, to contemplate things. Hello, my Aries. Well, I am the one of the, the part of the video cut off at the end for the advice from the Romance Angels and advice for the financial advice. So I'm going to have to redo this. Obviously, Mercury Retrograde is playing tricks on me. So 
let us get some advice you guys and finish this out. So can I have some advice for my Aries romantic love life for November 15th to 30th? Can I have some advice for my Aries romantic love life for November 15th to 30th? Can I have some advice for my Aries romantic love life for November 15th to 30th? So it's saying to let your friends help you to ask for uh, and get support from others. So, you know, necessarily this doesn't mean that um, you have to, you know, lean on friends per se. It can be your ancestors, your guardian angels. And also, obviously, Spirit wants you to really think about things and contemplate things for the first, first part of this. And um, reconcile. So reconcile pertaining to the past and a healing situation here pertains to the situation. Okay. So really think about things, really contemplate things, and allow friends to help you with this situation pertaining to this reconciliation, this healing here with this reconciliation card. Okay, so now I want to get your financial advice here, Aries. Can I have some advice for my Aries career and finance here? Can I have some advice for my Aries career and finance for November 15th to the 30th? Can I have some advice for my Aries finance and career for November 15th to the 30th? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So it's saying inspiration. Yes, your idea is divinely inspired. Take action according to the set into motion. And also express your inner truth, Aries. Okay. Your creative work shines brightest when it reflects the genuine feelings and thoughts. So express your inner truth here. So you're an inspiration, Aries, and they're saying to express your inner truth about it. And also, be sensitive. Your sensitive feelings are your muse and inspiration for your creativity. This is definitely uh, the theme here for this mid-month. It says you're, you're an inspiration to others, and you need to express your inner truth pertaining to your career and finance. And your sensitivity and your feelings are your inspiration for your creativity. So use your emotions and your feelings for your creativity here in, in your career and finance. All right, my Aries, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my Aries, have a great mid-month.